Breaking news tonight in the MSU bombshell. We are just getting word of a resignation letter from interim president John Engler. It is 11 pages in length and the bottom line is he says he'll quit in a week. This letter follows his comments suggesting some of Larry Nassar's sex abuse victims appear to be enjoying the spotlight. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is live in East Lansing tonight with more on this fallout. Brian. Well, we've been hearing rumblings that this may happen. We've been talking to students about the possibility, and they say it's about time, especially after those comments that were made. Former Governor John Engler took the reins at MSU with the promise of steering his alma mater through its darkest days. Our main concern will always be the survivors and doing everything possible for them. But for many Spartans, his tenure as interim president during the infancy of MSU's recovery from the Larry Nassar abuse deepened the wounds that he was tasked to help heal. I wanted so badly to be fighting with you, alongside you, for change with my fellow survivors, not against you, but you were fighting the wrong fight. After Engler told the Detroit News that NASA survivors are still enjoying the spotlight, MSU trustees announced a special meeting where many expected them to fire Engler. It seems Engler wanted to leave somewhat on his own terms, however, by resigning instead. Students today say the development's a necessary step forward. I think it'll give a lot of justice to the survivors who are probably offended by the whole situation. I stand with the survivors and I hope that they are um, moving forward as best as they can. But I think for this campus and because of the issues we've had on this campus, um, I think it's probably best. Some of the stuff that he was doing was good, but some of it, like obviously, like again, it comes down to those comments. Like you can't be saying that people are trying to use an awful experience that they went through, something that no one should ever go through, to try to make themselves basically be better or try to be better off through it. Like, that's just an awful thing. Now, we're told the Board of Trustees had the votes to remove Engler if that was to happen. If Engler didn't submit his resignation, he did. So now they will act on that at the meeting tomorrow instead. Reporting live tonight, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Brian, for the update.